After waiting for about two to three months, it has finally arrived. <laughs> What's going on everyone? My name is Patrick and welcome to an unboxing video. I've never done one of these, but I've never bought anything nearly fucking cool enough or expensive enough or whatever or nerdy enough for me to be able to do an unboxing video. If anything, the little box that I have down there, the Demon Slayer manga, I might have done if I wasn't on a hiatus when I got it. But after having ordered it like two to three months ago, I have finally received my Ultimate Edition collection of the Saw movies from Via Vision. It's finally arrived! I'm so happy and I'm excited to open this. Now you might be thinking, why the fuck did you order another box set of every single movie when you already own all of them? Including Jigsaw and the final chapter and Spiral, which you already own two editions of. I'll tell you why. Because I fucking hate money, apparently. Now, I've never done an unboxing, so I don't exactly know how this thing goes, but I'm super excited to open this up. Apparently, it comes with all nine movies from Saw all the way to Spiral from the Book of Saw. Saw 1, uh, Jigsaw, and Spiral come in 4Ks, which is awesome, considering, from my knowledge, Jigsaw and Spiral are actually not available in 4K in Australia in separate copies. Jigsaw used to be, but isn't anymore. And Spiral never was. Spiral was never available in 4K here in Australia. Which is why I'm happy I have amazing friends like John Burns who sent me the 4K steel book from the US of Spiral when that was released. But it's also supposed to come with a replica reverse bear trap that was only 1500 copies available. So I'm super excited to open it and take a look at it. So I've been waiting for too long. Let's just open this thing. Cardboard. Oh, look at that thing. Hang on, hang on. Should probably open it upside down and then slip it out because otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a bitch. Hey, look, it has my last name on it. Open! More cardboard. Ah! It would be a lot easier if it didn't have my address on the other side and the label and everything, but I can't really show you that side otherwise you guys will know where I live. Oh, look at how cool that is. Holy shit. Hang on. Fucking bubble wrap! Ah! Mistakes were made! One hour later. Alright, so moral of the story, everyone. If you got a knife, like this, which I didn't even think it was as sharp as it was. I haven't sharpened this blade in god knows how fucking long for cooking. But, moral of the story, no matter if you're opening a box, using it to cut stuff such as food, or trying to cut open shitty tape on bubble wrap, cut it normally. Don't be a fuckhead with it, because I can't show you it, and I've literally got a band-aid closing it right now, but I can already see the blood sort of coming. Oh. But, moral of the story, don't be a fuckhead with a knife, because you're going to slice open your finger. I, I can full-on open up my finger and everything, like it's gone from the nail around to here like on the palm of my fucking fingertip. I can full on open it up and see inside. It's quite gnarly actually. It's kind of fitting because I'm opening up a saw box set. Anyway, back to the unboxing. Ah! I almost dropped it. Oh, that looks really cool already. That already looks really cool. Look at that. Look. Look at that. I gotta open up the plastic obviously. Hey, you can see my OBS. But that, that looks really damn dope. There we go. She is opened up. Oh, that looks so fucking cool. That that looks really awesome. All right, first thing you'll see here is actually the reverse bear trap inside, which we'll open up in a minute to take a look at. It tells you what you've got. So you've got uh, the 4K and the Blu-ray of Saw. The Blu-rays of Saw 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then the Blu-ray and 4K of Jigsaw. And then obviously the Blu-ray and 4K of Spiral. So let's pull out this reverse bear trap really quick. Oh, the smell is so good. Oh, can this come out? I don't want to break it. Okay, can you come out? Oh, it can. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. I mean, I can't put it on my head, but I can, but not very well. Look at that, the detail and everything. It's so nice. Look at that. 
Holy shit. How cool would it be if it actually like opened up as well? Like as a replica. How cool would that be? Oh, that's really sick. Oh, I'm going to put you back before I drop you even further. Oh god, drop you even further. I haven't dropped you yet. If I dropped you, I would cry. So that's it without the top on. That that just looks so fucking cool in my opinion. That That's awesome. Well, let's actually take a look. <gasps> it's a little drawer that opens. <gasps> oh! Oh, that's so cool! But as you can see here, it comes in like a little book here where you can open it up and it tells you like the special features and what's involved. So obviously here you've got... What are you? What are you? Oh god, I'm so scared to open pull this thing out. Okay, so you're the Saw 4K, which... Oh god, how am I gonna show these? As you can see there, that's the disc with the Saw 4K, a little billy puppet eye and everything. I'm being so gentle with this, I don't wanna fuck it up. And obviously you've got your normal Blu-ray, which I actually still think looks a little different than the disc on um, the regular Blu-ray with my normal copy that I've got here. Of course, you've got Saw 2 which is literally the exact same as the regular Blu-ray disc. Oh, that's actually really cool artwork. I haven't seen it. It's um, Saw 3, but you've got the saw blades instead of um, the teeth that are usually on the artwork. That That's actually a really cool design. I actually really like that. That's dope. Yep, Saw 4 is the exact same with the John Kramer head that's sort of been decapitated. As you can see right there. Saw 5 is the um, skinned face of uh, Jigsaw with the mask and everything because that's the one where Hoffman took over and became the apprentice. Which, that's still, I love that artwork and everything. It's like the mask, the pretending to be Jigsaw with the mask and everything. That's really cool. Saw 6 is the um, Type 2 reverse bear trap with the 6 there as per the normal. And as you can see there. And I love how it also tells you like what it comes with. Like the audio commentary by producer Mark Berg and executive producers Peter Block and Jason Constantine. Audio commentary with director uh, uh, Kevin Grudert and writers Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton. Um, the Jigsaw Revealed, uh, The Traps of Saw 6, A Killer Maze Making Saw, Game Over. Music videos? Yeah, that's the Saw 3D. Wait, it comes with the 3D and the 2D versions of the moot? Where are my 3D glasses so I can watch some shitty 3D? <laughs> oh cool, it comes um, with a 52 Ways of Die recounting the traps from the Saw films. That's really cool. And of course, we've got Jigsaw uh, with Billy the Puppet there. Oh, that's a cool one. It's just like a big saw blade and everything for the 4K disc, if you can fucking see it. There you go. I think that's actually a really cool design. Like, it's simple, but it works. And of course, you've got your regular Blu-ray, which... Oh, it's such a bland disc. Oh, I hate it when they do this. I want the artwork, not just the pure blue fucking disc. Yep, and then you've got the awesome artwork of Zeke Banks there, with a pretty cool saw blade. Um, what is it? <gasps> I just dropped the disc with a pretty cool green saw blade and everything with the razors on it, but it's representing spiral. Then you got obviously the regular Blu-ray, which once again is just a really bland blue disc, which I fucking hate that. And then it comes with an extra disc right here called Bonus Special Features, uh, in association with Twisted Pictures, Lionsgate, and Via Visions. Comes with uh, saw bonus features and behind the scenes, sort of inside sneak peek at the making of saw. Okay, so it just comes with a bunch of extra behind the scenes content. Yeah, that's actually really fucking dope. Is there anything on me? No, it's nothing. In there. That's really fucking cool. I really like that. Then of course. You put the top back on it, if I can get it. There we go. And that's it. And that's the ultimate collection for Saw. I love this. This is really cool. How much was it? 400 bucks. Is it worth it? Well, when you do the math of the usual Blu-ray price and everything in Australia, and the fact that you know you're coming with, you know, 12 Blu-rays, well, 13 if you include that final bonus features, because Saw 1 has two discs, so, uh, Jigsaw has two discs and Spiral has two discs. Then you got Saw 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then you got the bonus feature disc. You got 13 Blu ray discs in there. And in Australia, at least, the average Blu ray disc cost is thir between 30 and 50 bucks. Or unless it's anime where you're paying close to 70 to 100. But I think this is a really cool box set. It's a really nice design. I love how well kept it is. I think the drawer with a little booklet with all the discs in it is a really nice idea. Rather than just having the disc after disc after disc in the different Blu ray cases with the reverse bear trap replica. Is it worth the 400 bucks? I'd say so if you're a massive Saw fan like me, if you're just wanting to get the Blu-ray and everything, 
No. <laughs> I think it's really cool as a massive Saw fan. So now I not only have the box set, but I also have all my separate discs too. But guys, that was this unboxing. That kind of went wrong, as you can tell. Like, it's... I can't show it on camera. <laughs> It's really gross. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing. Look out for more videos and reactions coming very, very soon. Do be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new videos are up every single week. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.